Hello everyone, uh, Eat Sleep from the Techies here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a slow motion looking effect in uh, Vegas. So, um, this is not the best looking uh, slow motion. It's, it'd definitely be After Effects using Twixter, or just After Effects if you don't have Twixter, or just Twixter, not really, though. Uh, but in Sony Vegas, it, it can be done. Uh, looks kind of bad, not gonna lie. Looks really bad. Yeah. Uh, but pretty much what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be taking, um, you're gonna be interlacing frames. So what that is is you're just gonna take individual frames and um, pretty much blend them together and create like fades in and fades out to the next frame. And then you can make the frame however long you want. And that's pretty much the what it is. So um gonna attempt to try and find some something I can you here we go, found something. Awesomeness. Um let me find where someone's shooting Let's see uh yes no no oh. ah here we go awesome where the deagle is being reloaded so we'll go here delete that and um okay this one is gonna be few frames, probably like four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I want to do when the cartridge comes out. So what you're going to do is you're going to um, pretty much get whatever frame you want. Like if you're going to shoot something maybe before the muzzle flash and maybe the muzzle flash and maybe after it. So you'd have to cut those three frames so you get the three pictures aligned. Like I want this one split that and uh, so this right here this thing in the middle this is one frame that just just a picture and I'll remove that and uh, split this up too where the cartridge comes out and split that and yeah that's all I need so I have three pretty much pictures here and if we run them together yay we have that so just the cartridge coming out. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave the end part just so it looks cool. So, yeah. We'll throw this on the bottom, I guess. If you want to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit U on all these tracks and get rid of the audio because that's kind of annoying sometimes. So there we go. Okay, here we go. Back to the... Uh, frame blending parts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on one of our frames, right click on it, hit insert remove envelope, velocity, and you have this little green bar that shows up. Uh, pretty much if you're doing what I'm doing then um, you want to set your velocity to zero so you can just click here, right click on it and hit set to, hit zero, enter, you're good, so now it's not moving. But if, like here, for example, if we play it, that's a tiny piece. Let me just show you quickly um, how this is going to work. Let's say right there. So she will just get this whole clip. This is Small Beans playing, by the way, if you know who he is. He's pretty cool. Kind of, Kind of angry, but, you know, good clips. So uh, you can also just make the clip, I, I should have done this at the beginning, but anyways, you can make the clip uh, smaller, not smaller, shorter or longer by hitting control and dragging it out to make it uh, longer or dragging it in to make it really fast. But as you'll notice, you can only drag it so far, so that's why you have to use this frame blending or use After Effects and Twixter. And um, as you saw before, I was using this velocity to zero. You can do this on uh, full-fledged clips, too. Uh, but again, if you drag them down like that, then you have to drag these out, and it doesn't look good. No, it doesn't look that great. Yeah, see, it's slow mode, whatever. But um, 
frame blending probably probably better not much better but uh, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and set all of my frames to a zero a velocity of zero so let's go ahead and do that okay so now we have our flames we could just uh, actually we can't because they're only one frame we can't blend them so what we have to do is we have to drag these frames out by the right side if you use the left side you're gonna mess it up and it'll like take pieces from the before the video just random things happen I don't know where they come from so you just take the end and drag it out um, Let's go, I want to do five seconds each, maybe, might be okay. So we'll just take each of them and drag them on out. Take you, drag you all out. And now it's pretty self-explanatory, bam, you put them on top of one another. And if you play it, um, actually that wasn't even a second. So uh, pretty cool stuff. But anyways, let me make it uh, actual, give it some, uh, wow, that was like an eighth of a second. Okay, we don't need all of this. We'll delete that. I'm going to make it four seconds. We'll make it four seconds. Four seconds is, is a good, it's a good amount of time. So, uh, bam, uh-oh, which one came first? Uh-oh, that one. Was it this one? Definitely. Okay. And four, eight, and now we just throw them right on top of each other. Actually, we'll move it out a bit like that. So if you play it really, really slow motion there. And you can cut the ends off, like right here. Cut these off so they don't overlap too well, so you overlap too badly, so you don't have just empty the same frame over and over. You can do it like up to there. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you um, fake slow-mo in Vegas. As you notice, it doesn't look too great, but hey, you do what you do. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. Be sure to check out the Techies website for great game and software reviews, as well as a database of all Techies videos. Also, please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something.